Newest US Army technology preparing to test Neuralink on humans. The defense sector is slowly becoming technology heavy. From smart weaponry to robots, the transition from human to machine is slowly happening. With huge money pouring in to improve the surveillance and response system, the US defense sector has now in its hands some of the most amazing technologies. Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. In this video, we will explore how the US is exploring army technology and delve deeper into the clinical trials of Neuralink on humans and its effect in the field of AI advancement. Now, let's begin. Offset and Swarm Tactics Advancement DARPA carried out a test of drones in its Offset project, which is Offensive Swarm-Enabled Tactics Offset, program to test the capabilities of a mission carried out with a swarm of autonomous air and ground vehicles. Since its inception in 2017, the program has held six field experiments and its recent exercise was conducted at the Cassidy Combined Arms Collective Training Facility CACTF, in Fort Campbell, Tennessee. Offset specifically focuses on the advancements in collaborative swarm autonomy and human swarm teaming capabilities. This will help the military in carrying out complex human-machine operations in different environments. The goal of the program is to develop swarm tactics, designing, developing, and deploying an open architecture for swarm operations in both physical and virtual environments is entrusted with two swarm integrators, Northrop Grumman Mission Systems and Raytheon BBN Technologies. The human swarm system has a game-based architecture that enables immersive collaboration between humans and autonomous aerial and ground robots for the completion of a complex operation. The future of the Army has unmanned systems and drones and humans working together to handle different kinds of situations to ensure the safety of the national boundaries. The offset swarm sprints have six themes, and the integrators are also tasked with creating a tactics exchange to foster community interaction between the Naval Information, Warfare Center Pacific, and IWC Pacific Experimentation Team, and DARPA. The six themes include swarm tactics, swarm autonomy, human swarm teaming, virtual environment, application of artificial intelligence, and physical testbed. Robots on difficult terrain Next in line is an amazing four-legged robot animal walking the rough terrain with new software as researched and developed by the researchers of the robotics systems at the Zurich Institute of Technology. The software assesses and lays down the path for the best way to walk through the rough terrain for the robot. The data accumulated is crucial and very helpful in devising the way to fulfill the purpose of the software. The system has sensors and it mimics the sensations that humans get while walking rough terrains. The robot animal walked around 120 meters of challenging rough terrain in just about 31 minutes without much difficulty, which is excellent, but when the data of the surroundings is not good enough, the robot moves slower or makes noises. It needs more work, but clearly the Zurich Institute of Technology is doing good work here. The goal here is to overcome the challenges and realize perceptive dynamic locomotion in challenging environments with legged robots and developed software and sensors that employ the best method employing both online and offline planning methods to enable the movements. The Mechanical Yak It's Chinese and the world's largest bionic robot. The bionic robot tried this but failed, and the Chinese military has been successful in making the world's largest weight-carrying robot for the military according to sources. It is strong enough to carry 160 kilograms and can sprint at 10 kilometers per hour, which is quite impressive. The robot will be used to deliver ammunition, supplies, and food across harsh environments like deserts, plateaus, mountains, and forests when traveling with normal vehicles is difficult. It has 12 sets of joint modules and can move forward and backward, turn, walk diagonally, sprint, dash, and jump with quite impressive stability. Further, it is equipped with sensors to be aware of its surroundings and obstacles and has displayed a very strong adaptive ability to various types of terrains. Jida, the mechanical dog. China also has a four-legged mechanical dog called Jida of the same size as a real dog, weighing 32 kilograms with the ability to carry a weight of a total of 40 kilograms. What is more interesting is that Jida is programmed to understand simple voice commands and use facial recognition along with traversing rough terrains successfully like the mechanical yak. The advancements in bionic robots are taking the Chinese military forward. Neuralink Clinical Trials We all see the concept of humans controlling things around them with the mind, some with powers, total fantasy and some with technology. And recently, Elon Musk's project is ready for human trials. Yes, technology will take us one step further by the insertion of brain chips in the human brain that will enable us to control and operate devices like smartphones just by thinking or giving a command. 
Elon Musk's company, Neuralink, undertook this project and now it has entered the phase of clinical trials, where the implants will be inserted in the brains of some people after they give their consent to be a part of this project. Elon Musk is a visionary, and he has great expectations with this project. The first set of human trials will be aimed towards treating paralysis, or paraplegia. According to the company's head surgeon, Dr. Matthew McDougall, the idea that Neuralink claims is that the implant will be able to communicate the thoughts of people with machines. Neuralink aims at treating neural disorders, first with their implants and later if the project improves and remains successful to help humanity take another step in the evolution with technology and even put us on even footing with the super intelligent supercomputers. But that's for later if the clinical trials remain successful in treating neural disorders. The Neuralink chip is around 23mm, that is 0.9 inches, in diameter, and Musk described it as a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. The Neuralink technology has already been tested on animals as a video was released before which showed a monkey playing a simple video game after getting implants. How Neuralink Chips Work The Neuralink brain implants record and decodes the electrical signals from the brain using more than 2,000 electrodes implanted in regions of the motor cortex that coordinate hand and arm movements. Neuralink first wants to test the implants on the people who have severe spinal cord injury to help them talk, type and move just by thinking. Electronics and brain together is not a new concept, as in medicine, doctors use implant electrodes in the brain to stimulate to treat conditions like Parkinson's disease, epilepsy and chronic pain. But Elon Musk and Neuralink want to go beyond treatments and use brain implants to improve cognitive functioning one day. The devices from Neuralink aim towards making communication easy for people, using text or speech synthesis and work easily. They believe that their work with brain interfaces will be instrumental in treating neural disorders, increasing the channels of communication with the brain, with pushing the ability of humans to access more brain areas and new kinds of information. Further, the technology of Neuralink can restore sensory and movement function, and eventually expand how we interact with each other, with the world, and with ourselves. The Silicon Valley company has already tested the implants in the brains of a macaque monkey called Pager, and a pig named Gertrude. While the bright side may make the lives of people with neural disorders easy, some people still oppose the idea of inserting a chip in their brain for the sake of improving cognitive functioning. But Elon Musk is highly optimistic and moving swiftly in one direction of creating the AI implant a success story. The best of the minds in the world are currently working on the project and they have already achieved success in animal trials. Their knowledge and testing will prove to be useful in the evolution of human beings, with technology and building a human brain and technology interface. Aquanaut, the underwater transformer. Robots can access and work in areas that human beings cannot. Houston Mechatronics, renamed itself as Nauticus Robotics, has developed underwater autonomous robots called Aquanaut. The underwater transformers, as the name suggests, these robots can transform themselves, which sounds pretty cool. The unmanned underwater vehicle, Aquanaut, can transform from a nimble submarine designed for long-distance cruising into a half-humanoid robot capable of carrying out complex manipulation tasks like inspecting subsea oil and gas infrastructure, operating valves, and using tools underwater. It weighs around 1,050 kilograms and can travel at a speed of 7 knots. It can travel more than 200 kilometers in submarine mode and has a maximum operational depth of 300 meters. It serves the motto of Nauticus Robotics very well, green robotics for blue economy, as it is all electric and does not need to be tethered to a ship. It is an important part of sustainable subsea technology and revolutionary concerning the future of robotics in the blue economy. While technology has its own set of pros and cons, it is up to the US military to understand the nuances of these technologies and use them strategically so that it doesn't cause more harm than good. Some of these technologies might be in their developmental stages, and it is unsure how well it is going to be utilized. But one thing is certain, technology is soon going to be an indispensable part of the military. That's all for this video. If you found this video informative, then give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the latest updates about our content. What are your thoughts on technology and defense? Do you think it is going to be useful, or will they make matters worse? Share them with us by leaving a comment down below. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.